My name is Ian Connolly and I'm a student at Stanford University. Extreme Affordability is a class taught here at the, at the D School that teaches students how to solve problems for people in developing countries. A couple weeks into the class, nonprofit organizations, they come to the class and they present and all the students decide what projects they want to work on. And for me, it was a really easy choice, picking Miracle Feet. Miracle Feet is an organization that helps doctors in developing countries treat clubfoot. Clubfoot is the most common congenital deformation. It means that the children's feet are turned inward and upward, which makes it really difficult for the children to walk. It's also one of the leading causes of disability. It's really hard for them to get to school. It's hard for them to get a job. They're often hidden away at home and end up begging in the street. There's one million children living with untreated club foot, even though it doesn't have to be that way. There's a really easy treatment. It consists of putting casts on a child for four to eight weeks, and then the child has to wear a brace at night and it keeps the feet in the proper correction, a bit like you would wear a retainer after orthodontic braces. The challenge presented to us in extreme affordability was to create a brace that, that was cheaper, that was available to the masses, and that was also a lot easier to use. What design thinking basically is, is empathizing with your user group, defining your problems, ideating, prototyping, testing out your prototypes. We actually got the opportunity to go to Brazil. We were able to get great feedback from parents, doctors, even kids. Their initial reaction was, wow, this does not look like a traditional clubfoot brace. This actually looks really nice. And then we kind of hit a wall because we needed engineers to make a very good shoe and also a very sturdy bar. So first we went to Clark's, which is a leading shoe company. They designed the shoe of the Miracle Feet brace, and they designed it pro bono and are still producing it at cost. Then we needed a very robust bar for the shoes to clip on, and we went to Suncast, which is a leading plastics company. They optimized the design of the bar that Stanford had so that children up to the age of five could use this brace without it breaking. We at Miracle Feet are working with other clubfoot NGOs to come up with a 10 to 15 year plan to eradicate untreated clubfoot worldwide. And this off the shelf brace will really help us scale so that we'll be able to get to these million children living with untreated clubfoot.